that's it, okay? Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to a new video. Um, you'll probably see this video in the new year, so if you do, happy new year. Um, this is gonna be a new year, okay? A new year, new me, right? No. Um, this is a year that I want to focus, not on social media, but just connecting with other women and people and stuff like that. So this is a year that I'm trying to actually focus on myself. So um, whether that is at the gym, on Instagram, on YouTube, I just want to have a better year. Um, and with that, I want to, you know, just focus on things that I like. And YouTube is something that I do enjoy. I don't enjoy doing it for the idea of growing or anything like that. Um, and I've been very open about that, about that in the past few years. Couldn't get that word out. Um, so I'm not doing this for money. I'm not doing it for fame or whatever. I don't care. I have a thousand of you. That's all I care about. Even if only a hundred of you watch my video. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I want to post on here. I know I like it. I know you guys like it. So this is the year we're going to focus on posting a little bit more. Um, I got a Stanley for Christmas. Am I, am I that mom yet? <laughs> um, we're actually going to get ready quick. I need to fix my lashes. This lighting is weird. I need to fix my lashes. My two inner corners pulled out last night when I was um, scrubbing my makeup off and I just like took it out and never put it back in. Um, so I got to do that. I'm feeling a little stuffy today. I've been feeling a little stuffy the past couple days. I've been sneezing like crazy. Don't think I'm sick, but I do think I'm fighting something like allergies or something. Um, so yeah. Huh? Oh, my kids are playing on the TV right next to me. I got them this like video, Paw Patrol Leapfrog video game. Huh, baby? Oh, not me? Okay. I got them this like Paw Patrol video game thing for Christmas and they're obsessed. So, wait, did I get that? No, I think my mother-in-law actually got that for the boys. I got them the Leapfrog video game. So, they have two new video games because they're obsessed with like watching dad play video games and they're always asking me for video games and I'm like no you're too young to play on Xbox and all that so it's like a USB it plugs in and it's like it's kind of cool um so they can play on the computer and it's just basically like collecting the Paw Patrol treats and the other one it's both from LeapFrog but the other one is more like a learning land and has like the ABCs and numbers and all that crap so um, it seems to be really liking it, so I think we got them at Target. I know I got mine at Target, and I think my mother-in-law got hers on Amazon or Target, but it's just LeapFrog. If I remember, I'll leave it linked down below. It's actually a really great gift. I would definitely recommend getting it for, like, young toddlers who are very into games. Um, again, I just think video games are a little young for them, but I think it's, like, a cool little, like, step into it. Like, it has, like, a controller and everything, so... Um, yeah, we're just gonna get ready quick. I don't know what I plan on doing today. It's already 11 o'clock. Um, I think I'm actually going to take the boys and do some spark driving. If you guys don't know what spark, it, spark driving is, um, it's basically kind of like, what is it? Like if you go to Walmart and you pick up your groceries or you can get your groceries delivered, uh, it's basically that. So it's through Walmart. You just pick up orders, dropping it off at people's houses. Um, I just do it like a couple of times a week. If that, just get extra couple of dollars, you know, here and there. Um, stay at home mom life, bringing extra money. Uh, we actually were doing it like right before the hol. I was actually doing it a lot right before the holidays, and it really helped with you know like buying with my, like buying toys and everything and gifts for everyone. So, I'm just gonna continue. It's also kind of nice because it makes me feel really good, like bringing home a little bit extra money. Um, like a hundred dollars a day, pretty decent. So. Um, when I do do it. So we're gonna go do that. I'm probably gonna pack the kids some lunch and have them eat in the car and then do like one or two drives um, and then come home for naps. Um, if the boys are good, I may take them to the park, but I'm not gonna tell them yet because it really depends on how they behave because they have not been behaving lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like the holidays, if it's, if it's me, if it's like maybe I'm just really overwhelmed and it's like, you know, rubbing off on them. Or if it's like just their age, like Landon's about to be five, Asher just turned three, um, and I don't know if it's like the age because they've just been like they feed off of each other, so they've been like really rambunctious and really not listening, 
Lana's new thing is no. Lana's new thing is giving me an ultimatum. He's like, well, if you do this for me, I'll do this. And I'm like, um, no. But I don't know what it is. But it's like craziness over here. And then Asher just follows Lana's footsteps. Um, Asher is like super bad. But I feel like half the time he doesn't even realize like what he's saying is bad. He just thinks it's like funny. Um. And then Lana is just not listening. So it's been fun over here. I feel like that's the reason why I haven't been really vlogging too much either. It's just I've been so overwhelmed with the two of them. Um, and it's been it's been rough. Um, I think it's the age though. Um, and then, you know, Lana's at school with a bunch of other four-year-olds and five-year-olds. So I feel like that kind of rubs off on him too. Um, but I don't know. I also know... Like I said, Asher just turned three. I'm giving you guys a little up update, okay? A little life update. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Elf you found it. Yeah. Elf bought me the elf bought it for you. Yeah. Here, come here. Do you want to say hi? Mommy. You want to tell them how old you just turned? Two. No, how old did you turn? Three. three. And what else? Did you tell them that you're potty trained? Potty trained. Yeah. Big boy! And then Landon, you want to say hi? Say hello! I got the elf brought me this chapstick on Christmas. The elf brought you that chapstick for Christmas. It did. Because, because he misses you. too, because he and, missed you? Because he misses me. He misses you. It's on your arm. I've been itching it. That's how. Did Jackson lick you or anything? No, I itch it. Don't itch it, but would did Jackson lick you? Is that why it's itchy? Oh, great. Oh, let me see. Let me take a picture of that. Um, can you go shut that fridge door, please? Because you just shut it all the way. I can hear it beeping off. Shut the fridge from the cheese. Um, so, yeah. Asher is potty trading. Um, he's actually been potty trading for quite some time. We actually started potty trading, like, over the summer. He's doing really, really well. And then we had, like, some friends come and visit. And their baby, their, like, toddler's also potty training. And, like, you know, when accidents, like, monkey see, monkey do, like, his, their son was having, he had, like, one accident or two accidents. And I swear it made, like, Asher, like, regress super bad. He was just like, well, screw this. Like, I don't want to do it anymore. And, you know, you both have to be in the mindset to potty train. And because... Like, I feel like that that weekend, like, we just had so much going on. There was a lot of accidents that weekend that he kind of just, like, regressed really bad. And I was like, you know what? Let's take a pause. We'll go back to it. Um, so while camping and everything, he was, like, peeing and pooping on the toilet still. And he just, like, it was, like, when he felt like it almost. So I wasn't pushing it too much. But then recently I've been, like, really, like, all right, like, let's do this. Like, you're a big boy. And out of nowhere, he's like, I'm a big boy. And he's been, like, potty training. And... He's had a few accidents here and there, but nothing like he was. Like, he's actually like, really holding the pee for longer periods of time. And, you know, I really truly believe when a child's ready, they're ready. Like, don't force it. And I think he's just fully ready now. So, he's been um, potty training and he's been doing really, really well. And it's crazy because, like, Landon was potty trained by, like, two and a half. Like, not even. He was, or start, we started potty training Landon at, like, two in two months or something like that but he was fully potty trained like by two and a half he was like completely potty trained by like that like within a couple months um asher was just taking a little bit longer and that's okay you know like all kids are different but yeah so we've been potty training i just had my mother-in-law in town she's been here for like almost two weeks she just left today i'm kind of sad i actually enjoyed having her around um and yeah, today we're going to just do some spark driving, just like one or two drives, just to get me out of the house, get me doing something, get the kids out of the house. Yesterday, me and Cameron took down all of our Christmas, so our Christmas is completely gone. It feels so good in here to have everything just feels like fresh and like back to normal, um, you know, with the holidays and the birthdays and, you know, people staying with us. It just feels like it just gets really, really cluttered really fast, um, and I'm just ready to like you know, have my own space and like do my own thing again. Um, really focusing, <laughs> me and Karen both, like our goal is to really focus on our diets again. We want to, we've been working out still like five to six days a week, but um, we really want to clean up our diets and really focus on cutting and eating a lot better. 
this and that. So that's our goals. Um, going to the gym later today. It's not too busy to show my workout. The gym has been like a shit show because they're opening up a brand new gym and they closed the gym that's like near that brand new gym. So all those people haven't come to our gym and it's been like, yesterday was a madhouse. And I actually wanted to film a reel yesterday and I didn't because it was like, if it's too busy, I don't like, like don't look at me. Like I don't want, I don't want that attention. So I didn't film yesterday, but hopefully if it's not too busy today, I'll film a few things. Um, I think today's thighs and shoulders. So we'll see. Um, I really don't have too much to do. I really want to clean my boys room a little bit. I took out all their Christmas stuff and I need to like kind of like dust everything and like bring out all their like dinosaur stuff again. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Like I don't really do much. I don't have any friends. So I don't know. That's just, that's my life. So that's where our plan is. That's what's been going on with us. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, actually a big thing. So as some of you may know, and I've had a, quite a few questions about it too, is about baby number three. Our, we have been trying for baby number three. And it's something that just hasn't been working out for us right now. Um, you know, we're tracking my ovulation and my periods, and it's just not really working right now. And it makes me kind of sad, you know, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I was really hoping, and I was actually really thinking because my other two pregnancies, um, you know, one of them we tried and got pregnant right away. Uh, the second one we got pregnant while I was on my IUD unexpectedly. So I just thought this time I would, it would be like kind of like the same, but it's been a little harder. It's been a couple months now and still no baby. Um, but hopefully it happens soon. I am manifesting a baby in 2023. Um, so yeah. Um, what else? I just realized my laundry door is open again, so I'm so sorry if that was like really loud in the back. But yeah, I don't know. Um, 2023, what's your New Year's resolutions? Please let me know. Comment below. I don't do the comment down below too much, but talk to me, you guys. What's your New Year's resolution? Because Right now, my New Year's resolutions are to have a baby, um, to eat a little bit more clean. I actually want to start like really cutting out a lot of like toxins from our diets. Um, I kind of want to just be more like, you know, chemical free. Uh, that's kind of my goal. One of my goals. Um, I want to read 25 books this year. I really started picking up reading actually last year, and it's just made such a difference in my mental health. I feel like. Um, I was on antidepressants, as you guys know, um, I was very open about it, I actually got off of it, and I've been really focusing on like, the gym and like doing things to make me happy, um, and I do feel like it's been working, you know, some days are better than others, um, especially when my period is usually when my depression gets the worst, and I just start to feel the worst, but I've been pretty good, I've got off of it because I've been trying for a baby, and I just don't want that in my body while I'm pregnant, so got off of it now. I don't know. Um, I think those like the only like main things. I want to eat healthier, continue in the gym, continue on my health journey. Um, I've gained like 10 pounds since starting the gym. Uh, but I'm like the strongest I've been. So like, it's kind of like a, like a lose, a win, lose, a lose, lose situation. A win, lose, I would say, because like I'm a lot stronger, which is what I wanted with the gym. But I've gained weight, but I'm trying really hard to not think about the number. The number doesn't matter. It's how I feel when I look at my body, how my body looks. Because sometimes, you know, a scale is a monster, okay? Um, but, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. Some days I feel a lot better than others about the scale, but I just want to be healthy, be fit, be strong. I'm definitely stronger. And my booty's growing, which is what we want, right? We all want a bigger booty. Um, but yeah, we're going to get ready, drive, maybe pick up the Starbucks. I got a bunch of Starbucks gift cards, maybe grab a Starbucks. Here's crazy right now. Yeah. Let's get going. Oh, I got to fix my eyelashes. And I'm already messing up vlogging. 
um, and I forgot my camera at home because I'm like just not used to vlogging. Um, but oh my god, camera got me a new phone like a couple days ago, and I have the 14 now, and I had like the 11 before, but like the cinematic filming, like oh, okay. Um, so we got some starbs, we got some starbs, and we are doing some driving. Asher fell asleep. You gotta fix him. Um, um, so we are driving. Asher fell asleep. Lands on his tablet. I just put some internet on there for him so he's able to enjoy himself. I just want to do, I just did one drive. I want to do two more um, because there's a bonus right now. So if you do six drives for the day or for a couple, like between like a couple of days, then you actually get um, an extra like $30, which, you know, it adds up okay. Uh, so. We are gonna do two more and then it's good because Asher's napping. Landon will probably skip his nap today because Landon like doesn't need to nap anymore. And I'm like not well with that. Like I feel like he still needs to nap every day. Um, but you know, he is off of school right now. And typically Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays, he does not nap. And he naps Wednesday, Saturday, Sundays still. So I feel like he'll be perfectly fine without napping today. Um, do you want to nap today? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> so we're gonna do this while Asher's napping. It's 12 o'clock now. Hopefully be done by like one and then go home. And I would like to clean up the room a little bit because their room is so messy. Uh, my house is actually like pretty good. Like it's in order. Um, Cameron helped me yesterday. He vacuumed and washed the floors for me again. And you know, put everything away. I put everything, like all the Christmas decor away. He put everything away in the garage. Um, and yeah, um, depending on what time Asher wakes up, Maybe we'll, but I don't know yet. Um, it just really depends on what time he wakes up. I want, I would like for him to have still a good nap. And if he, um, and if he continues napping while we are home, then he'll continue napping. And if not, then before the gym, maybe I'll take them. Um, but going to the gym at four today, so four hours. I gotta eat something when I get home. <clears throat> I sound super like, ugh. Um, but yeah, I don't know um, what else we're going to do today. So do some driving, get some organizing done. Maybe go to the Dollar Tree. No, I can't go to the Dollar Tree faster snapping. Maybe tomorrow we'll do the Dollar Tree. Um, they got a Lego table for Christmas and I would like to get some of the clear containers at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm telling you, they're the best and I need to get some more and they're $1.25. They beat the container store. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're gonna go to the library and I don't know if the library is open for story time tomorrow, but I think they are. I think they are. If they are, we're going tomorrow. Um, and then we are going to go to the Dollar Tree. I'll have to, I have to like write down what I wanna do. Um, there's things I wanna do around the house too. And I just need to like, you know, organize my life. My mom went to Arizona for Christmas and she comes back and I'm so excited to see her. I can't wait to see her. Maybe I'll stop by if she's home by the time I go to the gym or when I come back from the gym so I can give her a big hug because I miss my mom. <laughs> it's like Ben. When did I see her? I saw her last last Monday. And that's like a week too long, okay? I miss my mama. So guys, we are home now. Quality difference. Major difference. Um, I just got home. I'm going through the mail. And I'm like looking through the Ulta. And I have not shopped. So if you know me, like way back when, I was like super into makeup and I just spent like so much money. And I just, you know, I, not only did I like grow out of it, but you know, I have kids now. I don't do my makeup the way I used to. I can take off my glasses for a little bit. Ignore it, the glasses line. Um, but I was just smelling this YSL. Oh, it's apple, sage, and bedivere. Bede, um, this one, this blue one, um, this smells delicious. Like that's actually like a really good, you know, I know Christmas just like got finished, but Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, and that'd be a really good Valentine's Day gift for like your man. And Aqua de, uh, you know, Aqua de Geo from Giorgio Armani. That one smells really good too. Another great um, Christmas. Uh, sorry, Valentine's Day, and this one's actually cheaper than obviously the YSL, but the Aqua de Geo 
G, the Gioia, Gioia, Gioia from Giorgio Armani. Has like a melony smell in there. Is there a melon in that? Does it tell you the notes? No? No notes of the scent? Has, that was actually really good. It had like a, like a, kind of like a, a melony smell to it. Really good. I was just looking, you know. Yes, I've actually got a gift card from my mom and my mother-in-law from um, Ulta. So I'm going to have to put in an Ulta order soon. I actually am looking for a new eyeshadow palette. Um, if you know of one, um, I am looking. And then this has actually $10 off of 40 So, mm-hmm. I'll use that. Um, and then I actually just opened up a package from Curology. They sent me the Gentle Cleanser and the Gel Moisturizer daily hydration super excited to try this i've heard really good things about it um if you've tried these let me know um i like i like trying new things it's supposed to be like what no sense right yeah just a pure like little clean um, smell and then this is the moisturizer oh it's a little pump That feels really nice. Yep, no smell, which is really nice. Um, probably me and Cameron will probably use this. I'm gonna test it out with you guys now. If you guys are interested. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try that. Just paying some bills, drinking some water. Gotta make some lunch. It's like 1.30 now. Are you eating your lunch? Um, I don't know when Cameron's coming home. I gotta eat something. I don't know what to eat. Oh, ooh, I got these burritos. They don't have one of these. Um, I got these burritos. Okay, I just saw Heidi Summers. If you guys know, she does. She's a uh, what is it called? Black Bunny is her brand, and she actually talked about these like a while ago. Um, the organic um, breads, chicken cilantro, chicken cilantro and lime burrito. Um, it's actually so good. It's a little high in calories, 270 calories for one burrito. There's 12 grams of protein in it though. Not the best, but for something quick to actually eat, they're pretty damn good. Um, I don't eat these every day, but they're actually like really, really yummy though. Um, so we're gonna warm this up, eat this. I have freaking coconut, a Porsche's coconut lemon cake that I made, and it's so good. And I have like half the cake left, so I have to get rid of it. So, yeah. And then, look at how cute this is. My mother-in-law got me this. I wanted one for Christmas, so she actually got me one, and I'm so excited. I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm so excited to boil some water. I've been having it here because it's just so pretty. She got to return this to my neighbor. She brought me some chocolate cake. I'm so good. That's okay. You don't have to. Um, I can still smell it. Perfume. It smells so good. Yeah, I don't know. This is we're home now, so gotta fold some laundry. But that's all I freaking do. It's fold laundry, do laundry, repeat, fold. Put the laundry in the wash. Maybe my cup of pineapple because we had pineapple the other day for Christmas, and we ate the all leftovers. It was so good. And I'm going to eat. A few Doritos. Burrito. So good. You guys like. Mm -hmm. mm. So. I don't really know what else I'm going to do. I need to go clean up the boys' room. I just don't feel like it. I just want to sit my ass on the couch and read my book, to be honest with you. So. What are you doing? <laughs> Is your nose running? You better go catch it. <laughs> Is your nose running? So you better go catch it. <laughs> you better catch it. I don't know what time. I think Cameron's coming home early today, so. I don't know. Oh, I do that. I want to show you guys my outfit. What? So, this 
my outfit. I'm wearing these Alphalete leggings. They are so cute. Cameron actually got me these for Christmas. Didn't ask for them, but he bought them anyways. Um, and I love them. I really liked their um, shorts, so he got me some leggings. And then I wanted this top. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's supposed to be like the Lululemon dupe. It's supposed to be like the Lululemon dupe of the sweater. <sighs> I can't remember, but um, he actually got me this too for Christmas. Super cute. I really like this. And then my Lululemon bag and burnt caramel. But I think it's so cute. I like feeling very ginsy, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat my burrito. Drink some water. I have to drink this. <clears throat> I'm running a little late on my water today. That's my water. It's my water. No, my water. That's actually. Look at my. Daddy's drug. What's it called? Daddy's drug. Planner. And. Uh, kind of like plan some things out. Um, so maybe I'll just do that. Pay some bills, probably. I probably have to pay some bills. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss So I just finished going through my planner a little bit, you know, just jotting down for January, like the bills and all that stuff. Um, I have an appointment, I have to actually like reschedule. I have another appointment with the church because we're trying to baptize Asher this year. Um, this is my planner. Um, I love this. I got this from my home, TJ Maxx, one of the, one of the two. Um, I always get my planners there. They are just like, I like the way these ones are set up. Let me show you guys. Like. see something like this so this was like september so it has like where i can write like my appointments and everything well i usually like to write it on the actual months itself not during the weeks well sometimes i do both but usually around the months so i can see some months are just like way busier than others let's see i can show you one. Oh yeah like this one this was october october was a really busy month for us um busier month um and then they go into the weeks and you can kind of like write everything down um but i like it because it actually has every month it shows you like a new quote so this is like it isn't so like this one says it isn't where you came from it's where you are going that counts um so it shows you the quotes i actually liked january's um i just saw it says every great dream begins with a dreamer and then behind it it's follow your dreams they know the way um and so yeah i just write everything down, keep all my bills on there, kids, like, days off, or whatever I have going on. Um, put that all in there. Um, so I did that. Cameron actually just texted me that he's on his way home now. He's leaving work early, and we are going to go to the gym. So I'm going to wait until he's home, go to the gym with him. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. Um, I got to fill up my water. I finished it, finally. 40 ounces down. I have another 40 ounces to drink at least. Um, my goal for 2023, I can't believe I have to say that, is actually to drink at least 100 ounces of water per day. I'm really good with drinking at least like 50-ish, sometimes 64. Like usually you drink like at least half a gallon I drink. But I would really like to drink at least 100 gallons of water a day. I did notice like over the summer I was drinking a lot more water. And I noticed when I do that, I actually noticed my acne starts to lessen. Um, my pimples are actually like, pretty good. My skin's actually doing really, really well. Um, but my um, hair it really breaks out, obviously. He's on his way home now. I'm gonna clean up a little bit before he comes home. My house is actually not that bad. Um, put some things away. I actually am going to drink <laughs> a sparkling water. Um, I know they're not like the best for you, but I really, truly love like the sparkling. Um, 
like, what's the word called? Like, like I like the carbonation. That's what I'm trying to say. Like carbon, wool, wool. <laughs> Carbonation is like my favorite. I, I like it. That's why I like soda. One of my goals too is for 2023 is to really cut down on soda. Um, I will say as a whole this year, I really barely drink any soda, but I just get like really, really bad about it. But my goal is to overall kind of like chill out with the soda intake. I would like to completely cut it out completely, but again, I really like the carbonation. I kind of just need to buy like the Zevia. I'm filling this up. I know, I know, bad girl. This is how many ounces? 33. I drank half of it, about like 16 ounces. So I'm gonna drink this, um, give myself a little boost. The red, white, and blue pop is actually really good um, from the Clear American. They put these at Walmart. Um, they're like 10 calories for the whole bottle. It's really not that bad. So good. And these also have 150 milligrams, wait, no, 410 milligrams of potassium. Potassium is what you get in bananas, right? I don't drink bananas, I don't eat, drink, I don't eat bananas. It does have five milligrams of sodium, so just keep that in mind. Um, for me, this is just me getting some extra water in. I'm giving you the fizziness, the carbonation. Um, so I'm gonna run upstairs quick and I'm gonna quickly do the boys' bedroom. Um, and before we go to the gym, so let's go do that. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess the end of winter. I can't, Daddy has to hang it. So, I'll tell you after then. Go ahead, you can start dusting your TV uh, thing, whatever, whatever that thing's called. Um, so I end up getting a new humidifier for the boys' room. Um, I'll have to show you guys. So this is our old one, but I just feel like blue it's not really aesthetically pleasing um could be better right so i this one in my guest bathroom for now because we don't really gravitate towards it too much and then i actually got a new one like i said from this brand and i'll show you guys um, this is not sponsored or anything, but, um, let's see. So, this is, the humidifier is from Pure Guardian. Um, it is an ultrasonic humidifier and diffuser. What I like about this is that it's all white, but it actually comes, I think it's seven colors. Yes, yeah, seven different colors that you can change to, which is nice because it has got nightlight for the kids. Um, and then also... Yeah, see? All these different colors you can turn the lights to. Uh, most humidifiers, too, you're not actually supposed to put any essential oils or anything in there. Um, which, like, the one that we have, you can't put essential oils. And, like, I wanted one that had, like, a diffuser. So, they sent this one to me, and I'm super excited. Um, I like to put the humidifier in the boys' room because they do have pretty dry cloth room so it's pretty dry but what I love about it is how small it is look how cute it's like the perfect little size for their room it's pure white um, no, no, get out my bed with that. Or ghetto, but because the boys have night uh, bunk beds I don't have like a nightstand next to it but I want it to be able to like go so that they both have it next to their bed and not like on a different side of the room so this is what we're working with right now but so cool and what I like too is like the, the other humidifier I had, I had to take the whole thing apart. But this one, you just have to take just this top part and go. So I'm gonna fill this up quick. So I just filled it up um, and I am going to show you the different color lights. I think it's so cool. It's a little darker in here. 
Wow. You like the lights? It's super cool. Um, and then can I, can I we have the time on? settings. Can I turn on the light? You want to turn it on? Which, which, oh, it actually. Which one do you turn on? Hold which, on, Bubba. Hold on. Oh, this one is the light. Purple. I'm pretty sure this is the hours. But, Mama, you just can do it. Hold on, buddy. I'm still trying to do this. So that's cool. Okay, go ahead. Do the light. Blue. Oh, I hear it. And you can change. Cool. And you can put. Um, so with this one, you can actually put the essential oil right inside of it. Yeah. So let's do that. Quick. Came with a lavender essential oil. I said lavender, but I meant to say peppermint. Peppermint? Mm. Yay! Cute! Okay, leave it. Now let's dust this and rearrange this back in order so it's back to what it was before. Their books are back in order and finished or fixed. Asher actually got these for his birthday. He's super into Spider-Man right now. And this is like a reader. So, with his books, and then Landon's dinosaur books. I have to get the rest of his books in his playroom, but this is it for now. So, I'm happy. Now we have to, I really should go in the boys' playroom and clean it up a little bit, but it's another day. Um, so, I'm going to go put my camera on the charger because my camera is dying. And then I think we're actually going to go to the gym soon. So, I will let you guys know as we go to the gym. gym and went to my mom's house because she just came back from Arizona today um, and we just picked up some stuff me and Cameron are popping over some popping open a bottle of wine um, you know my bougie wine glass and it just spilled on my face um, yeah we've been obsessing over this one it's like a cheap ass wine but it's so freaking good um, I like the mango the peach is really good and the strawberry I'm just warming up some Christmas dinner for me and Cameron um, the boys already eat, but me and Cameron just have some leftovers for dinner, have some wine. It's already 7.30. The kids are going to go to sleep anytime, like any minute now. So they are just playing with a dino track that they got from my stepdad's parents um, for Christmas. They just opened it up and they're playing that now. Is that cool? Do you like it? Ashley, why don't you turn it on? It goes automatically. They're playing with that. We're going to eat and then just kind of relax for the night. I'm just gonna have some of this. I really wanna have some chips and dip. Um, so maybe tonight, but this is my dinner. Brussels sprouts, carrots, ham, some sweet potato casserole. So I'm gonna end the video here. I'll talk to you guys next time.